Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the super easy chocolate or peanut butter no-bake cookies. Now how I do it is I got my three-quart saucepan here. Fire lit up there. Then I take my unsalted butter. You can use salted if you want, but I believe there's enough salt and all the other ingredients. So I don't usually use a lot of salt, but you can use it if you want. I put it in my pan. I get that nice and melted. While that's melting, I'll tell you what else you need for your no bakes. You need a half a cup of peanut butter, two cups of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla or vanilla extract half a cup of milk and three cups of oats and if you're going to do chocolate you'll need three tablespoons of cocoa also and I would add that right to your sugar if you want um, we don't generally eat the chocolate ones because they give most of us heartburn but they are good but we don't we don't usually make those kind. Okay, I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit because this is just about melted. It's just easier, I think, when you get the butter all melted. Okay, then I'm going to add my sugar and my milk. Give that a good stir. Now I've heard various times on how long to boil no bakes. Some people say 15 minutes, some people say five minutes. I don't boil mine very long and most times it comes out okay as long as I don't try to do a double batch or something. I have my timer set for a minute and 30. I can't use my timer on the stove because it doesn't do the 30 seconds and it doesn't show my seconds. With your cookie sheets that you put your cookies on to cool, I line mine with wax paper and then I'm going to show you how you make them dry nice and flat so that they look like the fresh from the bakery cookies. I use the same measuring cup that I use for my sugar to measure out my oatmeal. I use three cups of oatmeal. And for my vanilla, you're supposed to use a teaspoon, but I more or less just use the cap. For me, that's just easier. If I want to put a little more in, I'll put a little more in, but generally I just use the cap. This is a small cap, but this is pure vanilla, so usually that's all I would need. Now I'm going to keep an eye on my butter, sugar, and milk mixture. And this is where you would add the cocoa, too, if you want, and a little teaspoon of salt if you want. Okay, I'm going to crank up the heat just a little bit. We're starting to boil along the edges here, but not enough to start timing it, I don't think. Give it a good stir again. Nothing more disappointing than when you try to do these and they don't turn out. Especially for such a simple cookie. Now I got it at a pretty good boil. Oh yeah, she's bubbling nicely. All right, now I'm gonna start my timer. And just let that do its thing. I might turn the heat down just a touch for a minute and a half.
Now that my boiling is done, ooh, that's hot. I take it off the heat, let it set for just a, just a little bit, let it calm down a bit. Then I'm going to put my peanut butter in. Before I add my oats or my vanilla, I always make sure that my peanut butter is good and melted first. So I don't want to hinder that process. So I like it to stay fairly warm. Get this. And you could use chunky peanut butter if you want. My mom, when I was a kid, she used to add a handful of coconut flakes in with the rolled oats. So if you like coconut, you might want to try that as well. Okay, get the lumps out. Then I'm going to take my granola and add that. Mix that in. Make her nice and smooth. And then we're going to add our oatmeal. put about half in first because sometimes I don't want them that thick so I kind of like I know it calls for three cups but I want to make sure it's going to take the whole three cups oh yeah she's looking pretty good one more see how it's already starting to thicken stuff you got to work fast. Yeah. I'm going to put you down for a second. Now next up, I already had this all set. I'm going to drop my cookies by mounds here on my wax paper. didn't quite use all three cups of oatmeal. So I thought she was pretty sticky the way good enough. And what they do in the restaurants to get them that nice flat is they Some of them are turning out, some of them aren't. But yeah, you get the idea. Well, that one there looks perfect. But that's how you do it.